In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a control program to your DXR2. We have used as a starting point a standard application we configured in ABT site and then we started from there the room programming editor. And I would like to add now in that room segment here a control program which I do my own logic implement to. Here on the room segment I can either go on the mouse context menu right click uh, add control program or I can use the button up here to add a new control program to my controller. I can give it here an own application name and the CFC name. I will just reuse here the defaults for this example. And I give now I get now here already a new CFC plan and in the PNV there is also my control program now visible. In the CFC plan I will now add my logic uh, for that little example and for this example I will uh, use an evaluation function of the room temperature which controls one of the outputs. Just for your information on the device I'm using here I have three relay outputs which I can use for this evaluation function. In the room segment now I'm taking care about the inputs and the outputs of my um, logic. The room temperature is already there which I want to use for evaluation but what is still missing is the output. So I need to add first my output and in the library I have here inputs and outputs, pre-configured ones which you can reuse either already properly with the names and description or you can also use a generic one like I will do now here in the example. By drag and dropping the input into my application function here in the room segment I'm getting here the standard names and the standard description and Changing that now to an appropriate one is, I think, one of the most important things so that you recognize it later on. You can either use your own text, free text, uh, however you would like to name and describe the thing that's open to you. Uh, you could also use the text picker here by clicking here on that uh, icon. It opens the text picker and here simply by describing uh, start typing a description you get you get here um, certain proposals for a name for example uh, here an evaluation function and simply selecting here a text will enable you then also later on to translate these text in other languages if a translation into other languages later on on APD site and in the project is not needed, then of course you can choose your own text. For example, here just uh, this is my evaluation function, and then also here eval function. Maybe you uh, you call it my eval function. So that's also possible for you to do so. What you see here as, an, uh, um, as a warning which says this text cannot be localized and this means that this text which you enter now here will not be able to be automatically translated later on in other languages. Here you can see already that uh, the, in the output which we assigned is automatically assigned to the next free output on the controller. So also when we change here to the device configuration we see that this is now here my new output which I added. So this had, happens already, we don't, need to be care, uh, we don't need to care about that one. In the room segment now we are ready to go. We have the room temperature which will be our input uh, signal. We have the output signal ready and we have the application function ready. When I now go into the control program I see my empty CFC chart here and to add now all these inputs and outputs I simply go to the project navigation tree to the room temperature and drag and drop it in here into my program. So that's my input signal, the uh, room temperature. Here also the 
evaluation function output is visible. I just drag and drop it in here. So I'm now ready with my input and output to be able to start programming. Also in the library, I find a huge set of common function blocks, which I can use for my programming. For this example here now, I will use a simply switch on and off uh, function block, which says now, okay, if the current input function is higher than 30 uh, degrees, then it switches on, and if it's lower than 25, it switches off again. Then the output, I give it into the uh, output number one. Here I have different output sets uh, according to the numbering. So that means this is input number one, this is input number two, number three, number four. And I can use the different numbers for uh, giving different priorities and different signals to this output. So here in our simple example, we have just one. We need to enable the output, of course, and then also here give it a priority. Uh, this priority, that's the backnet uh, priority, which I can choose now. And we use here priority 13, manual operation for this example. So that's uh, how I have now created my own application function. Of course, you can program here much more sophisticated things with all the common function blocks you have here. But the basic process of adding first the IOs of your function in the room segment, start properly naming them, check the assignment on the IOs, and then drag and drop all the inputs and outputs from the tree to your CFC chart and then start coding your chart. That remains the same always.